Hey everyone, welcome to Pink Tutu Tarot. So this reading today, we're looking at the month of October. This could be October 2024, which is when, um, around when I'll be posting this. Um, or it could be another October, whenever you find it. It could be another month altogether, let's be real. Spirit's going to bring you to this video when you're meant to listen to it, and you're meant to watch it. But for most of you, this is going to represent October 2024. So let's take a look at your groups and your cards. Group 1. Your card is number 26. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. And I'll hold that there for a sec. Pause it if you need to get a better look. Group two. Your card is number 33. Chaos and conflict. And group three. Your card is number 27. Exchanging gifts. All right, so allow yourself to get pulled to one of these cards. There's a message here for you somewhere. Um, what number attracts you, what picture, what card, whatever it may be. Allow yourself to get pulled to one of the groups, and then just go down to the description box, click on the timestamp for the one you want to watch, and it'll take you straight there. If you get in there and you quickly know this isn't my situation, feel free to jump into a new group. No big deal. All right, thanks, y'all. Hey, group one. All right, we're going to take a look at the month of October. Uh, as I'm going to be posting this, it'll be for October 2024. You might find this video another time, you know, well after October 2024, in which case, trust the timing. Maybe you're meant to hear it right now. Okay. So your initial card is card number 26, and it says happy, 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 happy. It's always a good, good place to start, yeah? All right, let's get some more cards down. We have the fox, and the moon, and let's get some tarot down. Your first card is the Three of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> Two of Cups reversed. And the Six of Wands. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, y'all. One last card as an advice card for you. <clears throat> and your advice card is the Page of Pentacles reversed. All right. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to take these cards in and listen for some initial messages for you from Spirit. Before I do, I just want to mention if you are in need of a personal reading, something that's just about you for you, not a general reading like this, you can check my website, pinktututarot.com, and see what bookings are available there. And also, if this reading does resonate and help you, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment, subscribe, whatever you feel called to do. When you interact with my channel, it really helps me know that what I'm doing is valuable, number one, but it also helps me know that our energies are connecting and it will help future readings resonate with you even more as our energies get more connected. So thanks for that. All right, now give me just a sec while I um, listen for some messages for you. Okay, so hold on one sec. They're telling me that as you go into the month of October that you're a little bit unsure. You're unsure how it's going to go. You have some things on your mind that are um, 
they feel a little bit confusing where you don't maybe maybe you have questions that you need answers to or there's just situations that haven't fully unfolded yet and it has you sort of in a place of either like instability or you're feeling a bit just confused it, it is a it is kind of a time of feeling confused as you're going into this month they're, they're wanting you to know not to worry about those things some of them will work themselves out during this month other things are going to take a little bit longer but they're really highlighting this happy happy card at the top here and wanting you to know that whether you get all the answers you're looking for or you don't in this you know brief moment in time right this this little month in your life it is a month of happiness there's going to be a lot of good things that are going to come about this month that that not only are going to make you very happy but they're giving me there's a there's going to be some things that you never forget so there're going to be some um very memorable moments in this month and you won't want to miss that by worrying about um other things in your life so try to keep that in mind okay so jumping into the cards happy happy this is the essence of the month ahead the the october month it is the essence of the month, meaning there are so many happy moments that are sprinkled throughout this uh, 31 days that when you look back on October, you're going to think it's one of the happiest months that you've had in a long time. Doesn't mean all your problems are going to be solved or all your questions are going to be answered because if you notice, she is sitting on an egg. There's still some things that are yet to be hatched. But if you can stay in the moment and enjoy where you are and what you're doing and try to worry about the future a little bit less, you'll really make the most of this month. Okay? All right. So when we look at the Lenormand cards, you're starting off the month with the Fox card. You're curious. You're wondering what's going to happen. You really have your sights on the future. You know in some way what you want. You don't know how to get it or where to go from here necessarily. So there's a lot of watching and waiting. You're being very clever. You're being very strategic. You're being, being very um, analytical when it comes to what you want. It's like your brain is really, really working overtime as we go into this month. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what they want to highlight here <laughs> is that at the end of the month, you have the moon card. You're still not going to have all the answers. The month is going to come and go, and you're still going to be at a loss for some answers. And they're highlighting the word some. Some things are going to, to um, resolve themselves in this month. But not everything. And so they're encouraging you to, yes, give give your challenges your opportunities your problems a little bit of focus but not all of it because that's not what this month is meant to be about and the moon card in lenormand often highlights a time when things actually go very very well you are um you know reflecting the sun in other words the sun is shining on you and you're beaming with light it's a time of honor. It's a time of respect. It's a time of opportunity and really good, happy, wonderful moments. And when you end this month, this is how you're going to feel. You're going to feel like you have accomplished something. So don't worry about the little questions, the, the certain situations that um, don't resolve themselves this month. Be grateful for the ones that do. Be grateful for the people in your life who bring these moments of joy and happiness, whether they be work people, family people, um, friends, uh, loved ones. They're telling me there's going to be at least someone in your life who is going to participate in creating lots of joy for you. You're going to be, you're going to be enjoying this month together in some way. 
And you're going to feel really, really good about yourself and your life at the end of this month. Even though you still may be a bit in this fox energy of still looking for answers, right? For some things. All right. So your tarot cards, we have the three of pentacles reversed. Let me just hear what they want to say about this. Bear with me one second. They're telling me at the beginning of this uh, month of October, when it comes to work or your projects that you may be working on, something you may be working on alone or with others, they're telling me you're feeling a little bit lost. There's something that isn't either isn't coming quite together for you at the start of this month, or there's something that you are waiting for, something that hasn't come to fruition yet, something that hasn't progressed as you would have hoped. And here's where you're looking for some of these answers. Yeah, they're tying it back to the fox. You're looking for some answers here because this is an important area of your life. And you want things to progress and improve, and they feel a bit stagnant or stalled going into this time period, possibly even before. All right. Then we move into the Two of Cups reversed. And one second. They're telling me that, again, there's this feeling of being feeling disconnected from your work, from your job, from a project you're working on. You feel like there's something missing. And it might be a little bit of joy that's missing from your work. And rightly so, they're telling me some of the joy has slipped away because you haven't seen the progress you've wanted to see, which makes sense. But you are going to reach a point by the end of October of feeling successful, of feeling happy, of feeling victorious. Now I'm going to pull a few more cards because I want to understand better what happens here, why you go from feeling disconnected, feeling stalled, feeling stagnant to all of a sudden being successful, right? I'm sure you guys want to know that as well. So let's see. All right, we have the hanged man reversed. The king of cups. and the moon okay so the three of pentacles reversed with the hanged man reversed it's you're wanting to make some progress you're feeling stalled but what i'm getting is is that you've only just begun in some way you've made some changes recently to what you do and how you do it and maybe you're expecting an immediate um change or yeah, that's what I'm getting. You're expecting things to happen more quickly. But what they're giving me is that you've only really, if you put it into perspective, you've really only changed and taken some um, extra steps in this area recently. Progress is coming, but they're saying you've only just started. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, but I've been working at this for years. That doesn't make any sense. There's something that you've changed recently. There's something that you started doing a little bit differently recently. Might even just be your mindset has uh, changed recently to where you're focusing more on your goals. You're focusing more on a different area of what you do. But they're telling me that you have been thinking about doing something slightly different or in addition, you know, adding something to your work. For a long time you finally jump in and start doing it and no you don't see immediate results but the results are coming 
I know it can feel frustrating. You want things to change immediately. We all do. It just doesn't work that way. All right, so the Two of Cups reversed with the King of Cups. They're actually giving me that you're going to be feeling a little bit disconnected from your work this month because you are connecting instead with someone else, with a person. So you're starting to give a little bit more attention to your maybe your social life, your love life, your family. There's somebody else. It doesn't have to be a man. But there's somebody else that you are connecting with and you're enjoying their company. You're enjoying time with them. And it is, yes, in some way disconnecting you from how you're feeling about your work, which is feeling a little bit um, dissatisfied, unhappy. But there's so much joy in your life coming from another area that it really kind of makes up for it. And that's when we come back to this happy, happy card, right? It is a happy month, just not for the reasons that you might be thinking right now. Or hoping for right now you're what i'm getting is you're hoping that this project this work um, situation something to do with uh something you do um purposefully it could be a vocation it could be a side hustle it could be a job you're wanting to see progress in that spirits coming in to say you're going to see progress you're going to have a great month you're going to be sitting on some wonderful changes but the things that you're thinking about right now those aren't the things that are going to make you happy this month. This month, it's your, you're going to be connecting with someone and really just having the time of your life. You're going to have a great month connecting with someone else or other people. And you will leave the month feeling absolutely wonderful. So you have, again, the Six of Wands, this feeling wonderful, feeling on top of the world, combined with the Moon card. You still don't know what's going on with this work stuff, right? <laughs> it's almost like the universe is coming in to say, okay, we know you have to go another month before you start really seeing answers to your questions, um, a resolution to a problem, um, you know, solid, solid progress on a situation. But we're bringing you in happiness in another area because what that does is it changes your vibration. The happiness, regardless of where it's coming from, changes your vibration, changes your energy, and it opens the door for other good things to come in. So they're almost like setting the stage for the future. And I do, I can feel this pull towards like November, the following month, where things really start to click and come into place. But right now, be happy just being happy. It doesn't mean don't focus on your work at all, but I am getting here. You're going to feel a little bit disconnected from it as you, you kind of put your heart and soul into people, other, other forms of happiness, and that's okay. Your spirit guides are coming in to say that's what they want for you. That's what they want for you. So the advice card here is the Page of Pentacles, and they're saying, Back off of anything new. If you've already started it, great. Keep going. Don't start anything new this month. Let things ride a bit. Let things, not coast, but let things play out in their own way before you start adding more to your plate in your um, material world here. Give yourself a chance to come into a place of balance with your work. And just enjoy. Enjoy this month for what it is. Because it's really a wonderful month for you. And progress is coming in this other area and work and um, your material world. It's just going to take a little bit more time. So enjoy what happiness is coming in. That's really what they're saying. All right, Group One, I hope that helps. I hope it kind of gives you some insight into what to expect. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, Group 2. Okay, so today we're looking at the month of October. As I'm recording this, we're looking at the month of October 2024. If you find this video, if you stumble on it another time, maybe a different October or even a different month altogether, trust the timing. You're brought, to a here, um, you're brought here for a reason. Okay, so your initial card is card number 33, Chaos and Conflict. Okay. I'll leave that there. Let's get the rest of your cards down.
first card is the clover. And then we have the anchor. Right, let's get some tarot down. All right. We have the five of swords in reverse. <clears throat> We have justice. The lovers reversed. And one more card as an advice card for you. <clears throat> and the advice card is the nine of wands. Okay, I'm going to take just a second to take these cards in and listen for some initial messages for you from Spirit. Before I do, I'd just like to mention if you need a personal reading, if you need a reading that's just about you and not a general one like this, you can look on my website, pink22tarot.com, and see what bookings I have available there. Uh, also, if the reading resonates with you, if it helps you in any way, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below, subscribe whatever you feel called to do. But when you interact with the channel and with the videos, it helps me know that our energies are connecting, that we're resonating with each other. Uh, it will help future readings resonate with you even more. And um, it also helps me know that I'm doing something that's valuable to you. So thank you for that. All right, now bear with me just one sec while I listen. I'm gonna hear for, uh, listen for some initial messages for you from Spirit. And then we'll talk about October. They're telling me that you have been going through something challenging or tricky in the past, um, including up to now. Something has been, uh, there's been some kind of upheaval. There's been challenges, obstacles, changes that have been going on in some area of your life leading up to um, the month of October. They're telling me you are about to get some relief from that. So if you've been hoping for some relief, you're going to experience some of that this month. Um, some positive experiences are going to come in. Some things are going to settle down and get back to a, more of a place of normality. So that hopefully is good news for you because it feels like you've been through a really stressful time prior to this uh, moment. <laughs> okay. So with your first card, the chaos and conflict, they're really using this card to point to where, where your life has been, not so much where it's headed. So I'm sure that's probably good news for you. <laughs> You've probably had enough chaos and conflict. Let me see what else they want to say about this card. Okay, they're telling me, um, this is card 33, and they're pointing that out to me. They're saying it is no accident, or it's not just misfortune or bad luck that things have been so um, tricky, so challenging. This is something that was actually meant to happen, to shake things up in your world, in some part of your world, in order to help get rid of those things that don't need to be there anymore uh, to make, and make room for better things to come in. That's not to say that everything is going to be leaving your life, that, you know, this is not a tower moment. We don't have the tower card here. But the shakeup, the changes, the challenges, whatever has been going on that's been kind of stressful for you up until now, it, it's, it happened for a reason. And it's meant to help you level up in some way in your life. Okay. So the message there just with that card is, even though it's been hard, even though it's been a struggle, and I'm sure it's not been enjoyable, 
there is something here still to be grateful for if you can find that. Okay. So your Lenormand cards, we start off with the Clover card, and this represents where you're, where you are as you step into the month of October. So it's a much better um, energy than this Chaos card. It's a positive time. It's a lucky time. You start to feel like things are coming together for you. It felt, starts to feel a little bit serendipitous. Um, luck is all around you. That's not to say go out and buy a lottery card, you're going to win millions. I don't know. Maybe you will. Probably not. Um, the Clover card represents small moments of luck that lead to better days ahead, if that makes sense. Um, you're feeling much more comfortable, more content, more protected here. By the end of the month, you've got the Anchor card here, which means things have settled down. <laughs> things have gotten quieter. Things have gotten more still. Things have um, calmed down in a big way. Everything feels more stable, more um, predictable. That's the word they just gave me, more predictable. So whatever chaos is going on in your life right now, absolutely, things will start out in little ways getting better, little moments of luck, little moments of positivity, of feeling better by the end of the month everything just calms down. You're feeling much, much better about where you are, where your life is, where things are headed. All right, so looking at your tarot cards, we start off with the Five of Swords reversed. This is you feeling absolutely over it. <laughs> you're tired of it. You're tired of the stress. You're tired of the anxiety. You're tired of the upheaval, the changes, the challenges, the chaos, the conflict. And you've just sort of, in some way, walked away from it. And it does show me that as you step into October, you're moving away from this energy. You're stepping away from it. It's been plaguing you up until now. But it won't be. It won't be. Um, as you go get into October, things are going to improve and change. Um, they're saying it's not, it's not dramatic change. It's not like overnight everything is better. It's these little positive moments that bit by bit, the chaos just sort of ebbs away. Okay. And then we move into the justice card. This is when things finally balance out. You get what you deserve. Um, others get what they deserve. You know, people around you. And I don't mean that in a bad way or a good way. It really just is. The Justice card is not a, an emotional card. It's a card of karmic balance, of things settling into place as they should. And that really is what's happening for you. You've been through something difficult. As you go into October, you're starting to set some of that aside. Things are starting to feel better. You're feeling more in, balance, more in balance. You feel like things are going your way now. Things start to feel more fair. Um, again, they feel more predictable. And uh, it is a feeling of, they're, I'm, they're giving me the words, calm justice. You're getting what you need and deserve after a period of chaos, conflict challenges, frustration. Okay. Now, by the end of the month, we have the lovers reversed. Now, I want to hear what they want to say about this, so bear with me one second. They're telling me by the end of the month, they're, they're, you are breaking away from something. Now, it may not be the same something here. They're just giving me that. Again, what they mentioned before about this chaos, whatever has been going on in your life, part of it has been to help you remove things from your life that are no longer serving you so that you can level up, so you can move up to the next level and make room for better things to come in. By the end of the month, you're going to see some of these things um, go away. Could be people, could be places, could be situations that 
find a way out of your day-to-day -day life. These aren't things that you love and cherish and want in your life. These are things that have been plaguing you, giving you problems, things that have been challenging for you, people who have been toxic or challenging for you. They, um, they start to go away. I'm going to pull some more cards here on these. I want to get a little bit more information here for you. All right. Oh, well, there's the tower card. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Spoke too soon when I said there was no tower here. Ace of Wands. And the King of Swords reversed. Okay. So I, re I retract my statement about there not, not being any tower card here. There is a bit of a tower moment. Um, it is this conflict that you're dealing with, again, prior to October. October is not a tower month. It is the recovery from the tower, the rebuilding from the tower. And that's really what this is showing. You, you, you're over the fight. You're over the struggle. You're over the challenge. You're now ready to rebuild something better. You're ready to rebuild something better with this tower card. Because what is being taken away what has been shaken up, what has been removed or changed happened for a reason or is happening for a reason. It's because it was no longer sustainable. It was no longer good for you. It was no longer going to benefit you on the journey forward. Okay. With the justice card, we have the ace of wands. This is you again feeling more balanced more relaxed more in your own power which brings about this ace of wands energy it sets you alight for new things you're no longer so focused on the challenges and the problems and you're able to create become inspired by um, whatever it is for you manifest new things in your life this is absolutely a new beginning it's things calming down, leveling out, and then you turning that light switch back on for something new and exciting because now you're rebuilding this tower, but you're building it in a way that is magnificent rather than rocky, troublesome, you know. End of the month, we have the lovers reversed and the king of swords reversed. For some of you, what's leaving is really a way of thinking. It's focusing on the negative. It's focusing on the problems. It's focusing on the challenges. It's focusing on all the I can't do or I failed at um, or I'm not good enough because it's, it's absolutely breaking free from those and allowing yourself a new way of being, a new way of being. You're no longer overanalyzing the past. You're ready to step into the future. And you're letting go of those beliefs, those thoughts, those concepts, those limiting behaviors that uh, are preventing you from moving forward. And yes, there may also be people you're letting go of. For some of you, it may be a job that you walk away from. It could be a home that you decide to move away from because it no longer serves your needs. Uh, it will be different for all of you. Some of you are leaving something material or someone. Others of you are walking away from that mindset, that I'm not good enough mindset, or look what happened in the past mindset. You know, what happened in the past is not a predictor of what's going to happen in the future. We tend to think it is, and then we create that and go, see, I told you. Mm -hmm. you're going to change your mind this month you're going to change your mind so the advice from spirit is the nine of wands Spirit's saying keep going keep going don't give up we know it's been hard the worst is behind you 
gather your energy, gather your inspiration, gather your motivation, empower yourself, and keep moving forward. Step into your future because your future is a much brighter, much stronger, more resilient, more sustainable future. In whatever area of your life this is talking about for you, you're going to find that stepping out of October, you're going to feel much better about it, much stronger, more powerful. And so Spirit's only advice for you is don't give up. Keep going. Stand strong. You've made it through the worst. It's now time to rebuild and make it better. All right, group two, I hope that helps. I hope it gives you what you needed to, what you needed to know about the, the month of October. So thank you so much for being here and have a great day. y'all. Bye. Hey, group three. All right. Today we're going to take a look at the month of October. So as I'm recording this and when I post this, it will be for the month of October, 2024. The way YouTube works, it may show up at a different time. You may stumble across it at a different month, a different year. Trust the timing. If you're here, you're here for a reason. Okay. So group three, your card is exchanging gifts. Exchanging gifts. Leave that there. Get some more cards down. And we'll jump into your reading. These are Lenormand cards here. I like to mix up the different cards. It, give, uh, it gives a different element of information and nuance to your readings. All right. Your first card is the whip. And then we have the tower. Keep in mind the tower in Lenormand, very, very different than the tower in um, tarot. So don't let it worry you. The tower in Lenormand is actually, you know, can be quite a pleasant card. We have the Four of Swords reversed. The Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Four of Cups reversed. And one more card as an advice card for you. And your advice card is a seven of cups reversed. All right, I'm going to take these cards in. I'm going to listen for some initial messages for you from spirit. Before I do, I'd just like to mention if you need a personal reading, right? A one-to-one, -one just about you, not a general reading here. Uh, you can look on my website and see what's available there. The website is pink22tarot.com. There's also a link in the description box. Um, otherwise, if this reading resonates with you, if it helps you in any way, if you get messages that are useful, I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, subscribe, do whatever you feel called to do. But I do appreciate um, your energy in exchange, huh? interesting, in exchange for mine. It helps me know that we're connecting and that the reading is resonating with you. It will also help future readings resonate even more. So just want to thank you for that. All right. Give me just a sec while I listen for some initial messages for you. Give me one sec. They're telling me that this month of October is very much about you picking and choosing what you want for your life, what's important to you, and sort of making sense of the different options that have come available to you prior to now. And will continue to become available. It's like, you know, when they talk about uh, companies, and this doesn't have to be a career reading, but when they talk about companies putting together a mission statement, what are you all about? What are your values? What are you working for? What's important to you? What's your version of success? 
in some aspect of your world. They're giving me this message of this month, you start to clarify what the answers to those questions are for yourself, what's important to you, so that going forward, you can start making decisions that are in alignment with what you want for your life. You know, that aren't necessarily just what's most convenient or the most comfortable or even the easiest to come by. You're making decisions that are in alignment with what you want for your life in some area. It doesn't have to be in every area right here. Um, could be work, could be relationships, could be something else. Okay. All right. So your initial card here, exchanging gifts. They're telling me that this month is about learning to not work in a vacuum. And I don't mean um, this to be necessarily just about work, but it can be. When I say working in a vacuum, what they're giving me is when you work tirelessly at something, giving something your all, it could be work, could be relationship, could be a project of some kind, but you're getting very little in return. Not that you do things just to get something back. You know, maybe you, you help an elderly parent or you do volunteer work. And those things are pretty selfless. You do them for someone else. But this month of October, you're being asked to look at the things you do, all the things you do, and make sure they are in alignment with what you want for your life. That you're not just doing things to do them, you know, if you are caring for an elderly parent, is it in, a, I'm not saying don't by any stretch, but is it in alignment with your values? I'm assuming it is, right? You value um, your loved ones. But if you're working tirelessly at a project that is not rewarding to you, or if you're working endlessly at a job where they don't appreciate you, if you are constantly at the gym, working out, working out, working out, but not enjoying yourself ever, right? It's that kind of energy of giving your everything without getting anything in return because you're putting your energy into something that really doesn't resonate with your soul in some way. So just some food for thought, something to think about there, um, because as you go through this month, what they're giving me is that you're going to start paying more and more attention to what you need instead of just reacting and automatically doing things for others, with others, uh, to others, even for yourself, but just automatically doing them. Um, out of habit or out of convenience or comfort, even if they aren't really what you want. For some of you, I'm even getting, for some of you, um, when you're stressed out, when you're going through something, you, you reach for the kitchen cupboard or the refrigerator. You overeat, you overdrink, you overconsume in some way because you're feeding a need, but it's not in alignment with who you are and who you want to be. So hopefully that's maybe a more clear example for you of feeding yourself in ways that improve your life rather than just stamp out emotions, you know, or, or, or con convenient substitute for whatever it is you actually need to make you happy. I'm glad they gave me that example because I was struggling myself a little bit to understand their concept here. <laughs> All right. So looking at the Lenormand cards, your first card is the whip, and this is where you are going into the month. For some of you, you're beating yourself up over something. You really are. You're bullying yourself. You're, um, you're, you're just talking poorly about yourself. You're not giving yourself enough credit for all the good things that you do and the wonderful person that you are. You're too critical. For others of you, you are just doing something. Again, it may be working really hard at something that is so not enjoyable to you anymore, or 
in the example they gave earlier, overeating, over drinking, over consuming, to, in a repetitive way, you know, it keeps happening because it is your response to a trigger or your response to an emotion or your response to stress. So you're going into the month of October really kind of feeling this, you know, you know this is happening. You know, this shouldn't be a secret to you. You're aware of it. But by the end of the month, you're in this tower energy. And you know the tower has such a such a, a different feel to it. Even just looking at it, it goes from being um, very, like, uh, out of control and um, electric, but not in a good way. You know, this feels damaging. It feels hurtful. It feels harsh. This feels calm, right? You're coming into yourself. You're feeling more centered. You are where you want to be. It doesn't mean that you don't have future goals, but internally, you're more centered. You're more in control. You're seeing things from a higher perspective rather than just responding to triggers or to stimulus or to emotions. You are taking things in, processing them, and dealing with them. You know, for those of you who are working endlessly at a project or at a job that offers you no reprieve, offers you no enjoyment, you're taking some time to consider the effort you're putting in and what you're getting in return for it. Okay. All right, so your tarot cards, again, we start with the Four of Swords reversed. It's a similar energy. It's restless energy. It's anxious energy. It's you not listening to yourself, not giving yourself the time to really process anything, you know? Could be emotions, could be triggers, could be people, could be situations. You just go, go, going, doing, 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 um, out of convenience, out of comfort, but not out of a place of alignment. You then move into this Knight of Wands energy, which, which is you, like, so, it's like a light bulb moment. Like, you get it. I'm not doing that anymore. Change is going to happen. The Knight of Wands is a change maker. They don't always know, the Knight doesn't always know exactly how they're going to make this change happen, but they know they're going after it and they know they're going to do it now. And sometimes they figure it out along the way. It's just the sheer inspiration and motivation that gets them moving. And then the pieces come together and they figure it out often along the way. But the Knight of Wands is not one to give up. They're inspired. They're motivated. This is it. I'm done <laughs> reacting this way, working this way, doing these things that don't offer me anything in return. And I am getting more and more that for a lot of you, this does have to do with emotional um, and stress-related triggers or triggers of any kind where your coping mechanism is some repetitive action, something you do over and over again. And you know it's not healthy, but you also don't know how to stop. <laughs> and you don't know if you can stop because it is it's how you deal with something. Well, October, you're going to really get motivated to figure that out. Find another way to find the right answer because you're ending the month in a much more calm, centered, empowered place where you're seeing things from a higher perspective and you're reacting more slowly and more in alignment with who you are. By the end of the month, you have the Four of Cups reversed. What used to disappoint you, what used to frustrate you, what used to really have you getting down on yourself, you've turned that around. You've turned it around. You now see that what was your weakness can become your superpower. In other words, you, you have, are working through this month to overcome a trigger or an emotion that you struggle to cope with. Again, it could be a job that has you overworked without reward. 
and you find a way to fix that in some way. Whether that's getting a new job, talking to your boss, explaining the situation, you find a way that is in alignment with who you are to fix the situation, not just put another Band-Aid on it. And rather than feeling disappointed with where you've been, what you've been doing, how you've been handling things, you start to see the blessing in it. You start to see how strong you are, how capable you are, because you managed to turn around something that has had its grasp on you for too long. And now you're in a place of control. Okay, all right. They want me to pull some more cards, so I'm going to pull some more cards here. Get a little bit deeper into the month of October. Okay. All right. So we have the Ten of Cups. The King of Swords. And the King of Pentacles reversed. So the Four of Swords reversed with the Ten of Cups. Whatever it is you're doing, you're doing it because you're trying to find your way to happiness. But you're being asked this month to really consider, is what you're doing making you happy? Or is it just giving you momentary satisfaction so that you can avoid thinking about it or dealing with whatever's going on? You want the full Ten of Cups. You want the real, lasting, um, fulfilling happiness. Right now, you're going about it the wrong way. You're going about it in a way that you have learned throughout your life helps you. And it has helped you in the past, in the moment, to get through certain situations. But what they're telling me is that now you're ready to evolve past that. You're ready now for real happiness. Not just this touch and go happiness, not just this momentary satisfaction that ultimately leads to you feeling worse, more exhausted, more tired, more emotional, uh, more frustrated, more angry at yourself. So the Knight of Wands with the King of Swords, yeah, you're taking action. You're changing the way you think. You're looking at things more clearly. You're looking at things with a critical eye, not being critical at yourself, but you're really looking at the triggers, the emotions, all the things that get in your face and in your way that cause you to do whatever you've been doing that you know isn't healthy for you. You're seeing things more clearly and you're, what are you telling me? Oh, sorry. You're strategizing your way out of it. You're taking action. You're inspired and you're strategizing your way out of it. You're finding out what is important to you. You're finding out what is in alignment with what you want for your life and for your future. And you're taking action on that. And by the end of the month, we have the Four of Cups reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed. You're no longer stuck. You're no longer doing the same things over and over and over again and getting so stuck that you're, you could be growing moss, you know? The King of Pentacles can be very stubborn, very stuck in his ways, um, can also and sometimes be very overindulgent. But you're breaking free from that energy. You're breaking free from that, and you're going to end the month feeling very empowered and very proud of yourself. Because you will have accomplished something that's really very important. Because there's something that is sabotaging the happiness you actually want. Okay. So the advice from Spirit is the Seven of Cups reversed. What they're telling you with this card is that this is an internal energy. They want you to go within. Ask yourself, 
Is this what I want? Or is that what I want? Look at the options. You know, if, if your trigger is when something stressful or emotional happens, you come home and drink a couple bottles of wine, um, they're encouraging you to step back and say, is that what I really want? Or do I just want to not feel stressed out? You know, if you have those, I'm not knocking wine, y'all, I love my wine. But if you come home after a stressful day and you knock down two bottles of wine and then the next day you hate yourself for it, <laughs> then those bottles of wine didn't really do the job of helping you, did they? So Spirit's asking you to go within and ask yourself, what do you really need? What is it you really want? Sure, have that glass of wine. But what else is going to improve your life to where it's not maybe not so stressful? To whatever is causing you emotional unhappiness, you can turn that around and find your Ten of Cups. What is it you really want? What is in alignment with what you want for your life and for yourself? And start making decisions based on that instead of on momentary triggers. Because that's where your happiness will lie, is when you can learn to overcome that. It's a big deal, y'all. Big deal. I'm, 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 I'm impressed by group three because this is one of those things that some people have never learned to do their whole lives. But you're taking a bull by the horns this month, and you're going to do it. So good job. All right, group three, um, thank you for being here. I hope the re reading helped and the messages were useful to you. Um, and have a great day. Bye-bye.